In this video, I'll show you real quickly how to use the product on our store called Controllable Dynamic Shapes by Dragonstorm and Optitex. The basic concept behind this is that there are some cloth pieces that you can load into your scene, and then um, there are helper objects that you can attach to the cloth to help guide how the how it'll drape when you use the plugin. So first make sure your dynamic clothing plugin is visible like I have in here and then go ahead and load an item. I'm going to load this sleeves rectangle. And if you notice this piece of cloth it wasn't made for this Genesis figure that I have loaded. So it it comes in kind of close to matching up. Um, but it comes in it has these loops on it and those should end up colliding with the figure and keeping the cloth in place uh, while it drapes and then it'll just hang down naturally from there so let's go ahead and try that make sure you select your cloth item there you go And as you can see, it ended up hanging from the arms of the figure just fine. And the same concept gets applied with these other cloth pieces. So I will load in this rectangle. And it's a much bigger piece of cloth, obviously and I'm going to rotate it so that it'll fall down on the figure and I'll load this, lift this up now if I just drape this it's going to fall on top of Genesis and collide with it and so I'll go ahead and run that, that simulation but it will take a minute so I'm going to pause the recording while I do so Okay, so I let the cloth run for a little while, and now you can see it's hanging on the figure, and you'll notice that we have these control pieces, these little loops. You can actually go in, I'm going to clear this simulation, and this time I'm going to load in a helper torus, and I'll position this. position this so that it's going to intersect with the cloth right there let's make sure that that is inside the loop almost there okay And now, if we run the simulation, it is going to hold on to that helper item and then collide with the human figure as well. So you can see as it starts draping, uh, the torus holds on to it, and then it goes and it collides with the, with the human. And so this is kind of neat. You can do this with any of these loops to give you control, and you can actually if you want to wrap, say, the scarf or, or animate the sleeves or any of those pieces, then what you would do is you would put a torus or one of these other helpers in a loop, and then you would actually animate the movement of your helper item. And then you would make sure to check this animated box over here so that when you drape, it would actually do the frames of reanimation and it run through that and it could, you could animate um, pulling the scarf around the neck of the figure or that kind of thing. So once you come to the point where you like the simulation but you don't want the helper there, uh, you can hide it. You can tell it not to render, for instance. You can go to Parameters tab and say Visible and Render, and you can uncheck that. 
so that it won't show up. And then for the loops, you can actually go into the surfaces tab and and you can find the pieces that correspond to these and then you can set the opacity down to zero and then it won't render so you don't have to have those loops in there if you don't want to and from there you can just take this and play with it and hopefully be able to figure out the many different ways that the artist the original creator of this content uh, intended for you to use it with.